vaccines uh, have been used for hundreds of years and it started very crude. Hundreds of years ago, people have realized that if they took the, the fluid from a smallpox pustule and inoculated that into somebody that hasn't had smallpox before, that they would have some illness, but then uh, that would normally be mild and they would be protected from serious smallpox later on. Of course, that is a type of vaccination in the very early beginnings that would be totally unacceptable today, but it laid the foundation for modern vaccinology. So here, a related virus, which is different to the real smallpox virus, was used to give immunity to people. And because of its success, it was then soon used very widely. And in fact, after a major international effort, uh, with, with many billions of, of, of uh, uh, dollars invested globally, uh, smallpox was the first and so far only human disease ever to be eradicated in the late 1970s. It really took in, until the, the early 20th century for more vaccines to be developed. The next one in the line was the vaccine, the so-called BCG, uh, against tuberculosis, uh, which is still in use today. It's not a perfect vaccine, it only gives relative protection, but we use it and you know it, it's good for whatever it is even though there is massive room for improvement. And then once uh, people had realized um, that infections are caused by microorganisms, bacteria and viruses predominantly, um, they then cultured these things in experimental animals, in cell cultures, on agar plates and they were able to, to work with them. And this is how further vaccines, for example against tetanus, uh, against diphtheria, against poliomyelitis, against measles, mumps and rubella, and many others have been developed. Mm -hmm.